This video explains how the Hoth vibration is part of a geometrical process that forms the passage of time. But first, I want to explain the different aspects of the Hoth vibration. The Hoth vibration is a process of projecting points on the surface of a three dimensional sphere to circles on a four dimensional sphere or hypersphere. In the lower right hand corner of this diagram, there is a sphere that forms the base space or base geometry of the half vibration. All half vibrations emerge from this spherical geometry. It is the S2 sphere. It is a sphere that we have in our everyday three dimensional world. We can have an objective understanding of this with the dynamic four dimensional hyperspace representing time or as a geometrical process, the curvature of space-time. The sphere is representing an electron sphere of probability that surrounds the nucleus of an atom. The points on the surface of the sphere can represent a geometrical process based on Huygens' principle of 1670 that says, every point on a wavefront has the potential for a new spherical light wave. We can think of the points on the curvature of the wavefront as potential light photon electron interactions or couplings. This process of projection in the Hoff vibration is formed by the absorption and emission of light waves. Whenever the exchange of energy takes place, our everyday world changes slightly and we comprehend and measure this change as time. The circles in the Hoff vibration represent electromagnetic field lines with the two-dimensional surface of the base sphere forming a boundary condition or manifold for positive and negative charge as a probabilistic future unfolds with the exchange of quantized energy. This boundary condition or manifold forms the potential for the four dimensions that we have in the mathematics of the Hoff vibration. In this theory, the photon and electron are two aspects of the same geometrical process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. This spherical geometry is not embedded in three-dimensional space, but forms the characteristics of three-dimensional space, with the two-dimensional surface forming the fourth dimension of time. This concept is supported by the fact that light photon energy is continuously exchanging into kinetic energy of matter in the form of electrons. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. It is the energy of what is actually happening as the future unfolds.